What I do to Press for Progress is mentor a number of young women. I've done that for some time now through Connect Mentors and face-to-face and -face individually. I have a lot of women come through my workshops and I help them to embrace visibility and drive their business and their brands forward. Often I think all of those hashtag campaigns and marching is fantastic and important, but actually the most important thing that we can do is own our space and own our power as individuals. I think that can be most powerful in inspiring other people to do the same. When we fully embrace and own our power and aren't afraid to shine and aren't afraid to strive and move forward and accelerate, um, that can be the most powerful example to both to the next generation and to our peers. The advice I'd give my 13-year-old self would be don't be afraid to shine because I think we often start out as children fully confident in our abilities and who we are and then with time and puberty and peer pressure through our teen years we start to lose, we start to try to fit and our priority becomes belonging and fitting and actually where we're at our best is when we're truly in our skin and we embrace who we are, that's where we thrive. Events like Rocking Your Teens are so important because success and fulfillment are not just about grades or mentors or business plans. All of those things are important, but actually having visible examples of, of women and, and men who have achieved often outside of the circumstances that you might think lead to success is really, really important. And also the importance of mindset and our own power. Those are the life lessons that often we don't get in school because school is committed to the curriculum and an academic success. So yeah, events like Rocking Your Teens are incredibly important because of, of all the advice and examples that they share.